Hello, this is Jessica Fox from Florida Virtual Bookkeeper. And today I want to show you how you will record your pay in QuickBooks Online if you are not getting paid via payroll. If you are a sole proprietor, a single member LLC that did not elect to be taxed as an S corporation or part of a partnership, you do not set up a payroll in the formal sense for yourself. Essentially, when you want to get paid, you will just transfer money from the business bank account to your personal bank account, or you will write yourself a check. So the way that is recorded in QuickBooks Online is as an equity transaction, because this type of entity is reported as part of your personal tax return. It's not technically considered an expense for the business. So the way that you will do that is you would on QuickBooks Online, so the plus new button, and if you're writing a check, you will select the check option, or you can use an expense. It's essentially the same uh, concept, and you would normally use this if you're transferring money to your bank account. So the payee will be your name. So in this case, I'm just gonna say business owner, and you would just set yourself as a vendor. You're not truly an employee. You will click save. Make sure that if you have multiple bank accounts that you're selecting the correct one, that you're paying yourself from, the date, you can enter the payment method, and then the most important thing is the category. And this is where it depends on how your QuickBooks was set up and what type of business entity your business is. If you are a sole proprietor, this will normally be owner's draw. If your books were not set up by an accountant or a bookkeeper and you just set them up yourself when you sign up for QuickBooks Online, it may say owner's pay and personal expenses, same thing, different name. If you are a part of a partnership, it will normally be considered a partner distribution. So the name may vary, but the most important thing is that you want that category to be the type equity. That's the most important thing to make sure that is recorded correctly. Then in the description, you can add personal pay, you can add dates, whatever record that you want to keep the amount let's say that you pay yourself fifteen hundred dollars and that is it you would just save and close and it will be recorded this will allow you to then match it when it comes through the bank feed and ensure that your reports stay clean and your tax preparer stays happy if you have any questions i'm only an email away jessica at floridavirtualbookkeeper.com have a nice day